I want to talk with you about something very urgent and also very important. If you're facing a lot of frustrating problems in your life, if there's growing tension in your marriage, if you and your kids quarrel often, if you're reporting to a difficult boss, you are not alone. We live in a world that's frustrated and angry. It's contagious. It's getting worse, and many people are losing hope. I want you to know that there is hope. There is a sure way to solve your most difficult problems and resolve conflicts. I want to teach you about what I call the third alternative. I chose this as the title of my new book because it's about looking past the conflicts you face to a third way. It's not your way or my way, but our way, a better way. You can solve virtually any problem you have by applying the principle of the third alternative, which I like to call the principle of hope. Here are some examples of what can happen when you go for a third alternative. A father rescued his troubled daughter from years of despair and near suicide in one surprising evening. A manager saw in one employee's demand for a raise a chance to double the size of the company. A policeman cut his town's juvenile crime rate in half. A high school principal raised the graduation rate from three out of 10 to nine out of 10. The third alternative book contains a dozen of outcomes like these. This is the first of five short videos we're going to show you in the next few days. These videos will help you understand how to go for third alternatives in your personal and professional life and in your relationships. Let me introduce my co-author, Dr. Breck England. He will be presenting these videos. As the writer of most of our current training courses at Franklin Covey, he has worked with us for more than 20 years. Breck, why do you think this principle is so needed today? Well, Stephen, Every day people wake up troubled by complicated, hard problems. Problems at work, at home, everywhere. There are relationship problems, financial problems, work problems. But you know, the real problem with our hardest problems is that we get stuck in the mode of thinking there are only two alternatives. But there couldn't possibly be a third alternative. You have to lose so I can win. That's why you see Wives versus husbands, employees versus bosses, children versus parents, sales versus marketing, the middle class versus the rich, environmentalists versus developers, conservatives against liberals. But there's almost always a third alternative. That's why we need this book now. What I call two alternative thinking splits the world into opposing battlegrounds. Third alternative thinking is rare, but it is the solution to our deepest problems. It starts with shifting our paradigms in four significant ways. The first paradigm is how I see myself. If I always have to be right, if my self-worth and identity are tied up in my territory or in my side of a quarrel, then I'm not seeing myself for what I really am a worthwhile human being in myself, capable of independent thinking. I can see past my side to other points of view without worrying about my own self-worth. The second shift is how I see you. If I stereotype you, you become a thing, a representative of a side rather than a whole human being. On the other hand, if I see you as whole, as a person, a sister, a brother, a child of God, I will value your perspective and want to deeply understand you. The third paradigm shift is to seek out different points of view instead of defending myself against them. This is kind of unnatural, so it takes some work. I've made this paradigm shift. If I can approach you and say, you see things differently, I need to listen to you and mean it. The fourth paradigm shift is to synergize with you instead of attacking you. Synergy is the process of finding third alternatives. It's the recognition 
that there are infinite, rewarding, exciting, creative alternatives to our problems that we haven't even thought about yet. It's the recognition that the future doesn't just happen to us. Together, we can create the future we want to have. In the search for the third alternative, you don't just solve your problems, you transcend them. Arriving at a third alternative can be so exciting and energizing, you might even forget what the problem was in the first place. Getting to the third alternative is a four-step process, and tomorrow you will learn the first of these four steps. As you watch the coming videos, Breck will help you discover the complete process for solving your most difficult problems. I encourage you to fully invest yourself in learning how to live by the principle of the third alternative. I believe in you and know you can find greater purpose, fulfillment, and peace in your life. I wish you well on your journey.